So here's a project I've been putting off, but I really need to do. So last year, before winter, we got this roof on, or I got it on at night before the snow started falling that night. And it's been great. It's haven't noticed any leaks. But the one thing I did not do is I did not put the flashing against the building here. And I knew I had to do it, but the water hits right out here because we have a good overhang here. The water hits right in here. You can see where it's whiter. And 98% of the time, it doesn't splash back far enough to even get that wet anyways. But the other day we had a really hard rain. Maybe it was blowing too. And I did notice some got back into there. So not the end of the world, but um, I really need to take care of it. So my pl the plan is we're going to put molding around this window here. And it's going to have three and a half inches right here. So I'm going to take this aluminum up so that that three and a half comes over top of it. That gives us 16 inches up, eight inches on the roof which should be fine because we have a six inch overlap. It's a four pitch, so we're good there. Over here, this is what's been bothering me a little bit is we have a different, I didn't get my roof or my addition on the same level as the original house. It's three quarters of an inch off. I miscalculated, but it doesn't really matter because I was able to do some nice molding, kind of sets it off. But for doing this, it is going to matter. So I'm going to have to do some work here to make this joint waterproof. Now, not much splashes back here, so it's not a big deal, but I think I can do it. I've been thinking about it. I got some ideas on it. But the one thing I do need to do is cut more of this off. I need to bring it up to about 12 inches so that the flashing will go up another 4 inches. And then we'll have a molding here where the flashing ends. So if I cut that off 12, pry it up, put the flashing underneath it, then that'll look nice and take care of that joint. Not the whole distance, but I'll, um, I'll have to do some other stuff there too. But that'll, um, I'll be able to get this first piece in, which actually I might do the first piece over there because I have a short piece that's a little less than seven feet. And then we move it on to a new roll. So then I'll be able to cut one for here and cut one for there. And this is going to be the part where I need to do some extra work. But I can do that, most of it I can do ahead of time. And then when I put that in, I think it'll, yeah, it should work out. Okay, so I'm going to get that cut. I can't move further because I went and put my tin cutters in the wrong garage at the wrong location. I thought they were for down there, and it turns out it was my set for here. So I'll have to pick them up today when we go downtown. But I can get this all ready to go. I could even get my trim ready and start trimming out that window. We have some more trim up here to do. I could start getting this part on. And then this could be primed. This has already been primed. We have one coat of purple. So we'll need another whole coat of purple. And then we'll be able to move forward with this. But I really would like to finish the front of the house first. So this is kind of... My main goal here is to get this watertight along that edge. Otherwise, the roof is holding up really well. And it's been about one year. Well, not quite one year. 